Hello everyone, it's Julie Lomas here and it's card of the month or cards of the month time for the month of May 2023. Um, the 1st of May is also known as Beltane and it's all about fertility and growth and abundance and of course spring is at its peak now, the earth is starting to warm and everything's coming to life and people are feeling much happier the sun's shining the days are longer and so may is one of my very favorite months um, and there is so much to look forward to for the coming months for summer uh, that's not far away and uh, life is just happier the birds are singing their hearts out it's just amazing so today i'm going to once again read my cards for the month i'm using my own awakening cards and i will use the crystal cards to see what guidance that we need and if you like what you hear please do press like on the channel and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it's free and the more subscriptions we get the more i can do many of these videos there's lots of information about um all types of positive um, living, crystals, angels, uh, meditations, coaching videos on the channel. It's all about positivity. It's all about helping you to live your best lives. And of course the cards are such a big part of that. Um, so let's see what the month of May is going to bring us with the cards and we will just start with my awake cards so just asking for that guidance now are oh, they shuffling well this time i haven't really want to be shuffled this is unusual well not really but uh, um but when i seem to do these card readings for the channel they never seem to want to um shuffle for long okay finished oh that one fell out i will use that one in the reading as well. Okay, so let's see what the month of May is bringing us. Ooh, that's a very definite. Ooh, I love my cards, they never lie. Okay, so the first card that we picked for the month of May is Hidden Signs. That's the first card of the reading, the Hidden Signs. So this is, meaning to be present in your life when you ask for help or guidance from the universe from the divine from whatever you're asking for you it means you you really need to be present in your life so that you can look for the signs that they send you they're hidden from you when you're not focused when you're not ready when you're just all over the place not grounded um, and just erratic in your life but if you are grounded if you are present in your life and noticing everything around you and then you'll find those hidden signs and of course there's lots of wonderful hidden signs and or signs in the garden at the moment and in the fields as all the uh, flowers and the um, livestock are, are the flowers are growing the livestock are, it's baby's time the new lambs so there's lots of signs that the earth is continuing that everything is having rebirth um, and that there's a continue continuity and you just have to notice it so i like that hidden signs and the one that fell out was so interesting because it was compassion and compassion starts with self you need to be compassionate to others and maybe when things are not going your way you don't feel like it but be kind to yourself be compassionate with yourself don't beat yourself up. Compassion starts with self and then you can be compassionate to others. Think how standing, standing in their shoes, how would they be feeling? Um, and understanding that we're all on a different path and uh, the month of May is about fertility, it is about rebirth, it is about growth. So being compassionate to others who are struggling and who may not be thinking like you think, but we all have our own path. And if you watch nature, you'll see how nature copes with and adapts to change and to what's going around them and how they 
live, or the animals, they all live together harmoniously. Wow, this cat's very different from what they have been all year for the month. Oh wow, joy and laughter. Maybe we all need more joy and laughter. Um, at the beginning of May in, in Celtic times, in the old times, they used to burn the, burn the bonfires. They had big celebrations and parties because spring was here and it was all about fertility and rebirth and joy and growth and happiness and fun. And maybe we need to be reminded that we need to bring more joy and laughter into our lives. Laugh at ourselves, laugh at our own antics find joy and you can find joy every day in your life you can find joy in the little things so more joy and laughter for the month of may i don't know that there's two two of these cards are going yes please pick me pick me <gasps> archangel uriel angel of forgiveness of letting go of new direction he illuminates your path forward so again letting go of the old to bring in the new that rebirth um, don't carry the baggage that's not doing you any good it's heavy um, and just find guidance with Uriel you can ask for his energy to come in and to help you to let go to let go and move forward and bring in this new energy and the, we've got the summer to look forward to. And he also helps you to um, go forward, ask, ask for his help to show you which direction. And a little bit about forgiveness in there as well. So, And then we have tranquility. I love that card. Tranquility. Find time each day to sit and be, even if it's for five or 10 minutes, to bring you to a place of tranquility. If you are lucky and you can get outside in nature, you can go to the forests or the beach or the parks, sit in the trees, sit in the greenery, feel the peace, feel the tranquility and bring that inside you. Um, so hopefully May is going to be a more tranquil month. It really is a time of change and rebirth. Um, I really, really like those cards. There's one more flashing on like these and then I'm going to go to the crystal cards. I'm just going to see what this one was. Ha <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> shine out. It's time for you to shine out. Just as all the um, uh, nature, the flowers are shining, the birds are happy, the animals are birthing, everybody is coming into their own and they're shining out and they're not afraid to be themselves. You need to shine out and be you. Don't hide in the shadows. Go forth into May and then as we come into the summer months, shine out, be you and don't put yourself down. I like these cards. They're quite different from uh, last uh, month or even the month before that. So let's see what the crystal cards have to say, what crystals are going to help us through during the month of May. Oh, one fell out. I'll use that one. If they fall out, I was thinking you need to use them because they. Whoa, <laughs> that one needs to come out too. So we'll see what that one is as well in a second. And yeah, they don't really want to shuffle. So let's ask them. So I've got those two there. As for the guidance we need for the month of May. Wow, well, I see the first one. Oh. You know, I always like my cards. Right, so the first one was Celestite, celestial blessings or celestial being. Celestite's a high vibration and crystal. It's blue, it's about, it's blue, it's blue. It's blue. <laughs> it's very gentle stone. It helps with your communication. It helps with your connection to the divine, to those celestial beings, to the divine beings. And you can meditate with this crystal, hold it, and it'll help to bring those energies in. Very nice for meditation, sitting quietly, and enjoying your life in general. So let's put that there. Now the other one that fell out was, ah, citrine, manifestation, joy, laughter, abundance. So it fits in with the cards already. The rebirth, the fertility, everything that's wonderful about um, about the month of May. Um, if you look on my channel too, 
I do have suggested crystals to meditate with and to help you for the month of May and for Beltane and I, uh, citrine is in there because it brings that joy, that abundance, the freshness, the happiness the, and it helps you to manifest all the wonderful things that are happening. So that's wonderful. And then the other card that fell out was Larimar. I, I love Larimar, it's about fascination. It's also a w wisdom. So be fascinated, really take note of what's happening outside, really take note of your life, really watch the wildlife, the livestock, the flowers, the, the vegetables, the crops. Be fascinated, enjoy, ask questions. Use the wisdom of nature to help you in your life. I often think this is grandmother's stone, grandmother's wisdom, because when you work with Larimar, it really does help to bring wisdom into your being. Beautiful crystal, so that's the one that fell out, so that was very happy. Um, so let's see what the next one is. So I'll just pull that one down. Doji stones, strength. This is really letting you believe in yourself. But we need balance. Everything is about balance, and Doji stones are about balance. When we've got balance and we're grounded, we have strength. You have the strength to get through anything that's thrown in your direction, anything that's troubling you, you have the strength. But to have strength, you need to be grounded and you need to be balanced, and Doji stones do both of that. They help to ground you, keep you here, they give you the strength because then you are grounded and they bring balance and you can do anything when you get out of your heads. So there's a lot of guidance here for, um, for the month of May. Um, there's one other card, that, this other card, well this top card wants me to pick it up I think. I just have, it's so hot, so I'm going to do it, okay. Oh, I can understand why. Green calcite, intellect. So that's using, use your intellect, use your intuition, use your intelligence to break through the illusions. Use your intelligence to grow and to know what's right and what's wrong and what you need to let go of. So, uh, I like green calcite, it's very gentle stone and it helps things to really flow and it's very soft when you meditate with it or you hold it. Uh, very good to use with your heart. It also brings you balance and of course it's that colour of green, the green, the fertility of, of May. Um, that's why that card wanted to be picked because it was kind of like saying pick me, pick me and I was thinking no, I've already picked enough um, but that's why. So I think we have some wonderful cards for the month of May here. Um, a month of growth, of joy, fertility, rebirth, manifesting new things, bringing new things, new ideas, believing in yourself, having compassion. But you have to remember, you have to be here and present in your life when you've asked for help to bring in that wisdom, to bring in the changes, to see the messages, to see the signs. I really hope you've enjoyed the card reading for the month of May. And please, again, I'll just remind you one more time, please do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and look out for more uh, guidance of crystals and meditations you can use for the month of May. And we're coming into summer, so enjoy. There's lots of wonderful things happening in the world. There's lots of not so nice things, but there is a lot of hope. And uh, of course, if you're in the UK, we were also going to have King Charles's coronation on the 6th of May, which is very exciting. And that brings in a lot of old traditions, a thousand, a th nearly a thousand years, I think. We bring in a lot of old traditions and it's unity and it brings people together and it's like a whole new era starting. So there's so much to look forward to for all of us. Have a great May, folks, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.